how do you think the Violet Journey album stands up 14 years on? Um, I was really proud of that record because I did everything myself on that record. Mm. And I was left alone in the studio. It was kind of a weird time in my life and everything, uh, but it was an interesting and amazing time as well where I just got to – the studio was just built in the backyard. It was a shed for a garage and we soundproofed it. I played the drums, bass, keys, everything, recorded it all, wrote it all, and um, and that, that got me my record deal with Jimmy Iovine with Indiscret Records. So um, I just – yeah, I just sat in there until I, I would work until 7 or 8 a.m. sometimes just drinking uh, Coke, <laughs> a lot of it. <laughs> I just played it a couple of days ago. I think the title track in particular, and there's another one called Right Now, they still sound um, amazing and, and, and very, very fresh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. It was, like, it was funny because that was all down on a, on a roll in 2480 workstation, digital workstation, and um, and then I bounced some of it to Real to Real and um, – I use like this uh, Rose mic and this, all these preamps and stuff. And it was, you know, really, I just, I sat there and I just worked as much as I could on trying mm. to hone in on sound. So, Ari, I want to ask you about the 2009 album Believe. I'm guessing as it had a radio hit on it with According to You that it pushed you towards the more commercial, dare I say, teen market. Yet, as a serious and accomplished musician, was that ever an issue with you being targeted, I guess, towards that demographic? as a pop artist? Well, I'm a big fan of a good pop song. Mm. So I cannot say, you know, because I would listen to obviously B.B. King, you know, Stevie Ray, Santana, but on the flip side, I listen to Savage Garden. I'd be listening mm. to, you know, um, In Excess. I'd be listening to a lot of stuff that was going on with the Australian pop scene too, you know, which was cool because they're freaking amazing. Mm. And uh, so I always wanted to I always wanted to put out a pop song. I wanted to have a pop hit. I did. Pop rock hit. And I was like, how do I infuse guitar um, in a pop song that would make, like, a lot of kids want to pick up electric guitar? 